Hey guys, Prayer for Life here doing another quick uh, EDC update video. Um, I'll go ahead and knock out the uh, easy stuff first, but um, we'll go with uh, the wallet. Same wallet as I did in the last video. Um, not a whole lot there. Credit cards, no cash. You know, same old, same old. Um, I got a new phone, got the iPhone 4. Um, really like it. Uh, I like the fact that I can take HD videos um, on it and uh, it's a lot faster than my 3G that I had before so um, still liking it. So uh, yeah, you'll see some more YouTube videos but they're going to be off the iPhone 4 and not off the video camera. Um, paracord bracelet still, uh, still rocking one but this is uh, an ACU cam and OD green as opposed to my normal um, OD green, coyote tan, and black that I have been wearing most of the time. Just figured I'd change it up a little bit. Keys, same old, same keys, driving the same car. Um, I did make a new lanyard though. Um, basically the exact same colors as my um, survival bracelet, just turned it into a little bit longer lanyard. If any of y'all have any questions about these lanyards, um, don't hesitate to ask. I will be putting up some how-to videos on all these lanyards that I've made, because some of them I've kind of just made up on my own. I didn't really look at another video, so I don't know if you'd be able to find a how-to video on some of these. So just keep checking back, or if there's a sp specific one that you want, just let me know and I'll, I'll try to get it out as quick as I can. Smith & Wesson Tactical Pen. This is one of the coolest pens I have ever used in my entire life. I love this pen. Um, I did a review on this a little, well, I did a, uh, a first impressions video. Um, still still loving it, rocking it every day. The only downside is, is the, uh, there's a piece of plastic used to, as the retention um, cap, and it's get cracked and now it's a little wobbly but it still it still holds pretty good so um, not worried about it but uh, I uh, really really enjoy that only thing I wish that Smith & Wesson would do is actually make this into not a snap but a, a twisty top so um, oh well I know they make one uh, in a little bit different design, and I don't like that one as much, but if they had this exact same design with a, a twist cap rather than a, a retention snap, perfect. Spyderco Tenacious. Love the knife, however, um, after using it for several months now, um, sorry about that, um, I do have a few issues. The edge on the knife um, isn't kept very well. It, it gets dull very quickly. Um, chips very easily. I mean, I understand that it's my beater knife, but I really, I really am disappointed in how um, how well the the blade has been keeping up. So I'm having to sharpen it every couple of days, if not every day. So um, it's a great knife for the price, but uh, I definitely won't make the mistake next time. I'll make sure to get a little bit nicer knife for the my EDC purposes. So. Still rocking the uh, Springfield XD9 in the um, Crossbreed Super Tuck holster. Um, it is loaded, so I'm not going to be waving it around too much, but um, this is it. Very nice. Very thick, but uh, very nice. I really enjoyed it. I really like the the chamber indicator right there you can see um, and then the, the little silver uh, indicator on the back showing that it's cocked uh, very nice I like holds a 13 plus one um, one being in the chamber it's been very heavy but very nice to carry especially in this uh, crossbreed super tuck if you have a larger gun and you're worried about concealing it get one of these crossbreeds I mean, I'm a very, very skinny guy, and this thing hides it with no problem. So, just as an FYI, carry a spare mag with me. This is a uh, 
I believe it's a 16 round mag, so I've got the 13 plus one, so 14 plus my 16, looking at 30 rounds that I have, so I really hope I don't need any more than that, though. <laughs> um, this is what I've been waiting to show y'all. This is one of my newer uh, items that I just recently picked up. It's a lot like the Maxpedition mini pocket organizer, however, it's smaller. Mini pocket organizer, wallet pocket organizer. You know, I hear, I've seen reviews and stuff on these about, you know, you can fit in your cargo pants pocket and stuff like that. I have the hardest time fitting this in my cargo pants pocket. I don't know what they're talking about. Unless you're wearing some 511 Pro Tax or something, it's very difficult. Normal cargo shorts will not hold this easily just because it's too wide. Um, so, I bought this recently. Not by Maxpedition, it's by, I believe, TrueSpec. Um, I think TrueSpec makes it. Or Voodoo Tactical. Hang on, I've got the, the wrapper here. Or the packaging. Um, Voodoo Tactical Compact BDU Wallet. So, it's a... Uh, not anything interesting. Full zip, uh, a silent zipper pull, external mesh pocket, two inside your lanyards, hook and loop, holds ID, pens, pencils, blah, 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 blah. So, anyways. This is amazing. I mean, look at that. Look how small that is compared to this one. That is awesome. This actually will fit in your pocket. So, I started carrying this, uh, reason being is I wanted to have something that I could carry a lot of stuff in it, but wouldn't be clinking around in my pockets. I wouldn't, I don't have to empty out my pockets for five minutes to get everything out. I can just grab one thing, get it out, and be done with it. So that's why I purchased this. Um, it's not super big, it doesn't fit pens and things like that. As you can see, the pen is, I mean, longer than that. However, I did get a, a Fisher Space pen in here. So, um, so far so good, um, a little heavy, but that was my, my fault, I've just got too much stuff in it, so I'll be brief. Um, it's got the American flag with the hook and loop, um, I actually plan on putting uh, like a, a ne sewing needle and some thread or something back there just for the just in cases. Um, in the front I don't really have much, I have the, uh, I believe this is by Gerber the Gerber Curve, this little keychain uh, multi-tool, has a little knife, flathead screwdriver, kind of a Phillips head screwdriver, I can't, I don't know if y'all can see that, uh, files on both sides, you got your, your rough and then your fine, and then I guess that's a, I use it as a fingernail cleaner, but I guess it's a, a smaller um, screwdriver. And then my favorite thing about this, I don't know if you can see that, but this is a bottle opener. So I do use this all the time for that purpose. So if nothing else, great beer up, great beer bottle opener. Pull the inside, not YKK zippers, not five, uh, not, um, 550 cord. I'll change that out. I've got some extra. But uh, just want to let y'all know, I mean, it's, this isn't the high quality stuff here. This is more just for organization. So, immediately you see my uh, EDC flashlight, which is a, uh, a Nova um, flashlight. I don't know what the, the model is, but uh, it's got a high, low, and off. Those are your, uh, your three options. It has a, a tail cap push thing but it doesn't it's not clicky it's just a, a hold it down momentary on and off um, but so far so good I've, I've really enjoyed having this F uh, 55 lumens I think on high 6 lumens on low um, very useful so I'll do a review of that later maybe I'll make an updated uh, flashlight EDC video and uh, go over it So I've got the uh, Leatherman Freestyle if y'all don't know what this is, it's just a 
little other than multi-tool with a uh, serrated uh, plain and half plain half serrated blade and a pair of pliers and that is literally it pliers and a knife I have a uh, a Leatherman Wave that I keep in my EDC bag. That's why I don't uh, I don't keep a bigger Leatherman with me. I might upgrade, but I'm on a budget. And I just paid for school and books and stuff, so we'll be waiting on that for a little while. <laughs> um, I've got a lighter, just a normal Bic lighter, and here if I can get them out, I just stuff a. Uh, a whole bunch of band-aids. I have a girlfriend who likes to hurt herself on accident, so I got lots of the band-aids with the antibiotic already included, so I don't have to carry anything like that around. So, got a roll of duct tape around a old debit card. I've got a uh, Venture medical kits. Slim Rescue Howler. Sucker is loud if y'all don't, if you've never seen one. And it's handy to use as an EDC whistle because it's so thin. So just keep that in mind if you're in the market. And then my Fisher Space Pen. So this is my, uh, my new EDC kit, and I plan on trying to use this every day that I can. Um, has a long ass lanyard here. I would don't know if I'll ever use that. I'm, I may trim it down a little bit, or I may cut it off altogether. I haven't decided yet. But uh, this is a little EDC kit, and I just thought I'd share that with y'all because I had never seen one this small before. Um, I bought it at my local uh, Army Navy store, but I'm sure you can find this bad boy um, almost anywhere online, and maybe your your local Army Navy store might carry it also. So just. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, don't hesitate to shoot me a comment or anything below. I'll try to get it answered as quick as possible. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, comment and subscribe. Thanks.